Good morning, friends. How are you today? Sorry to be a little bit late, but I got kind of ambitious. And you know me, it's hard for me to make something the same over and over. So we'll just leave it at that. Give me a second for the computer to catch up. I hope you can hear me good. And we will get started. The day out here almost looks like it wants to rain. I don't think it's supposed to, but it kind of looks that way. All right, there we are. I'm trying to get closer, but then it kind of is smaller. So hopefully we can work with that. As always, thank you so much for shopping with me and keeping me going. So that way I can bring you new things. So what are we talking about today? I have a little cheat sheet here. You can take a picture of that. Um, that's what we're doing. Six cards. We need pattern paper, six of them that are three by five and a quarter. Oh, sorry about that. My glasses are fogging up. We also need six half inch by four and we need six one by five and a quarter. So this is your pattern paper. This can be patterned or cardstock. This is usually a colored cardstock. I got this idea from Robin, and I won't butcher her last name. It's A-R-M-B-R-E-C-H-T. Thank you very much for the idea. So I've got my card bases here. I've got my my pattern paper, three by five and a quarter, six of those. I've got my color, which is melon. This is one by five and a quarter. And I took a sheet of paper, so I ended up with three, four inch by half inch. And then I went and dug out some glitter paper because, you know, I like glitter, which are half by um, four. Then you need some words. So I just stamped some things from a couple of different sets. This one, I took the Happy Birthday, which is right there and there, out of the card making um, for Cozy Up. It is CMO, not O, CM016. Uh, give you a look at that one. This is actually in a card kit, so it's the only way you can get this stamp, but I love it for this thin cut. Okay. The other one that I used is Hey Friend, and I don't have the number with the thin cuts, but the stamp set by itself is D2172. I do have the thin cuts in there, but that's a long story. But anyway, that's where I got Hey Friend, many thanks, and I miss hanging out with you. Okay. Another cute set. There you go. Hopefully that wasn't too much glare blinding your eyes. Then I went and got some thin cuts. This small circle shaker window, which is Z4620. I keep my extra bits that I cut in the back of the envelope, and I always put my thin cuts this way so I can see them, so I don't see the label. And it's it's for shaker cards, but you can use it for other things, like we're going to do just two layers. So there's this one with the stitched edge, and this one that's just the circle. Okay. And before we get going, I want to give you a little sneak peek, hopefully you got that by now, of the colors that are leaving us this year. Okay, are you ready? So go and get whatever you need. Pewter. Raspberry. Green apple. Avocado. Oh, I'll miss you, avocado. Grape. And color of the year, which is melon. Okay? All right, let's get busy. Let's do it. So, and then I have a whole other set to show you with um, a little bit different than, than this one. So, basically, we've got... Let me move this up so we're in frame. So we've got a, a tr you know a little edge on our card, and we've got these pieces like so, and then a piece across the middle, and uh, words, and a frame, and then this paper is pretty busy, but you could add another little element. I might do that after. So let's see what can we do with these. So I am going to do a little bit of this, 
and that. So I like to use my grid paper, you all know that. But for anybody new watching, that way I can kind of keep it straight and I know that this is about halfway on the quarter of an inch. I don't press it down very hard. And then I line this up, Oop, going the right way. And make sure, ah, see what I mean by don't push down too hard at first. Okay, that's good. And I want to do a little pennant in here. So I'm cutting about, let me see if I can get a little closer for you. Not that close. All right, so I'm cutting just a tiny bit up. The smaller the paper, the less of a pennant you want. And then you can either do this, or sometimes, if I go this way, I always get it kind of waffly. So when you make your first cut, then turn it over, then it's easier to do that second cut because it's where the first cut was. Hopefully that makes sense. And there's just different ways that you can do that. And then we are going to glue this down. And I have a couple of tips I want to tell you. So again, I'm just going to use my grid line. I know that this is going to be inside, so there's that line. And this one needs to go up just a smidge to make sure we're straight. Okay, so a couple of tips. Before you put these two pieces down, because you cut them separately, stack them like this to make sure that they're even. At this point, you can just trim off what isn't even. Okay. And the next thing is that this layers inside of here to make a shaker card. So you can just easily, I was testing the color, test the color on the back side. And where this connects and stuff is always nice to put that down there. Then we just have to go around this. This is where some Liquid glue would be helpful, but if you get good with your tape, and I should pull out my my uh, self-healing, or no, my all-purpose mat, and I could just run around it and it would, wouldn't stick where I don't want it to. Okay, got to stand up so I can see, because this doesn't, it, it doesn't just go like the rim of it, it's a little bit bigger. So, we just want to make sure that we encompass all of it. And there we go. Now, to add a little bit. So you can add another little baby image of something. A flower, you know, whatever you want. Or you can grab your matching um, dots. These are melon. And these ones are um, also dots. But they have circles, hearts, and stars. So, happy birthday. I kind of think stars would be good. So then I might just add, think of a triangle. You want groups of three. And they can be spaced out groups of three. Whatever you want. Oh, oh that's kind of cute. Look at that. Do you want one there? Maybe a little bit smaller one. Sorry if I'm off camera a bit. Let's put a smaller one in there. There we go. So here's our triangle with our bling. Okay. So then to see what the other side looks like. So there's one. And I won't do, I won't waste the time to do another one. I also have some white, white frames. So, you know, white frame might be good too. We'll put a white frame on this one. But what I wanted to do was see about reversing the pattern. Ooh, that's kind of bland. That's okay, we'll jazz it up a bit. We'll put some sparkle on it. I still like the other side better, but and I think the words are going that way. But we'll do this one anyway. I know, bye bye flowers. It's okay. It's just a sheet of paper, and it's not even a full sheet of paper. You can do this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm amping up you or 
me. Okay. Words going the right way. There we go. Let's um, do the pennant thing again. Now you could go down to here and mark on your paper, make a hole or whatever you want to do. Which, oh, that works better on the back side. So that way you're really straight. So you can do it this way, turn it over, do it that way. All right. And like I said, I did do another set of these, so I'm just showing you how they work. Again, wherever you want them to be, really, it's totally up to you. And we will, and you could layer something up as well if you wanted to. And I think I'll do it a little diagonally. Let me get my all-purpose mat. Help me out a little bit. So when you got the all-purpose mat, you can not worry about where that is going to be, and you're nice and clean. Alrighty, let's see. Yes. Got just a little bit of extra glue. Must have picked it up from the bottom of the mat. That's okay. It just rubs off. And there we go. And then, oh, I think I covered them up. I also wanted to show you. Right there. I um, take my my extra little bits of glitter paper and I make circles out of them. And this is the wax pickup tool. Just helps you, you know, especially when you're doing little stuff. So here's just a couple of those. So then you can kind of put them around and see where you want them. Maybe like that. Then you take your, where is it? Oh, can't find it. Your liquid glue. Let's move that out of the way. Give me a little dot. Where's the liquid glue? Make sure I get enough because I'm going over the edge. Okay, we got our glue. Put the lid on. And then we just. We'll fly a little bit on you. There we go. And then if we want, we could again add any other little embellishment or, you know, a, a flower, a, an image. I don't know if I really need these. I don't think so. Although on here would be kind of good. The other thing I like to do, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mumbling again. The other thing I like to do is just, because this is clear plastic, is set it over and see where I might like them. Maybe a couple here, a couple there. One big one down here, or a couple down here. Okay? Easy way to do it. So that is that. And you don't need to see me do all the rest of them. It's just the same way. So I've got one of each side and one of each little element there. And I wanted to show you what else I did, which is what took the bulk of my time, is, let's get this out of the way. So it's a cool way to make a gift for somebody. Um, if you need cards quick and fast, you can kind of prep it to this point, maybe not have your words on, and then figure out if there's something else you want to add to it. So... I used sage mostly for and then black ink and then I used this paper pack which is the memory lane which I'll show you the flyer because it's a little bit easier so memory go lane is on until the end of this month August um, 31st and it's nice because you can buy things separately such as just a paper pack or a paper pack with a sticker sheet. Or you can buy things separately, like I said, or in a group. So here's a group of, group of just the pattern paper, the cardstock, the sticker, and the stamp set, which is what I bought. And it's got this cute stamp set. I'll be showing you some uh, cards with it. 
in just a second. And then, and then, there is a card kit that you can, when you order it or just go and look, you can look online and download the instructions for this. So this one gives you the stamp set, the cardstock you need, the texture paper, pattern paper that you need to make these cards. And I believe it is, how many cards does it make? I'm trying to see. It says cards and envelopes. It'll say on your instructions, but I think it's three or four of each. Okay, and then there is a scrapbooking one, so it's got the instructions for a single and three double page ones. So you're going to get the paper you need, the cardstock, the sticker sheet, the stamp set, and some accessories. Which I know that's a really tiny picture, but it's the um, die cut um, wood looking flowers. And I should have had those out for you to see. Don't know if I can find them quickly. And the stamp set that comes with this kit is this one here. Hopefully you can see that well. Not trying not to get too much glare. Have a beautiful birthday. I thought that was really cute. Sending you a big hug. So much fun. Our story. Love this moment. And the cute little houses. Little tree with a swing. Flowers. A heart, you can use this anywhere, right? Alright, and then I pulled out this. Oh, my thinking of you wasn't too. If this happens and it doesn't stick, it could be that I didn't stick it down enough, or by touching it all the time, it gets your oils on there. So just take a, a rag and clean it off the oils, stick it on there, and it will be fine. So this one is B1837 with love. Now this matches this little frame. And this little frame is in with this card um, die, which is the floral frame card front Z4761. And there's so you can do it two ways. You can cut that circle out and put whatever behind, or you can use this one and cut out a color that you want. And I'm just going to stick this in here so I don't lose it. Okay. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Thanks for watching. And the cards that I made are... So, so this is, you know, using the same paper, just turning it over. These six cards that I'm about to show you are using the Memory Lane paper pack and some cardstock, but all the different patterns. So this one is the first one with a little tree. Here's the second one. Make sure you can see those. Oh, there we go. My computer is a bit behind. Great. Oh well. Here's the next one, thinking of you with that cute little house. And congrats on maybe a new house. Happy birthday and thinking of you. Same design, different colors, um, pattern paper with pattern paper, cardstock with pattern paper. This is the melon. This is... Um, Sapphire, which is in this kit. So I tried to pull colors that were in the kit. The words are all sage and black. And then I just added, here I'll show you a little bit close up. Um, there we go. I just added a black heart and put one of the melon ones in. I also took a really fine Le Pen, which is a really fine pen tip. And I just did three little dots kind of hovering around just to add a little bit because this background and stuff is just a little plain you know I had to juice it up a bit so there's that one this one is just basic in fact I didn't even add any sparkles or anything to it so I might have to go back and do that this one says congrats again and this instead of doing the pennant I just did some some you know horizontally kind of ish, -ish lines I don't know and the congrats and some little hearts. This one, I actually cut out the heart, which is in, where'd it go? 
which is in this stamp set that coordinates out of pattern paper and then put a little itty bitty in there so that's still my triangle it's still covering kind of where everything meets what else haven't I showed you this one this one I did three hearts and three little but it's still kind of a a long triangle okay oh one more to show you the little butterfly and if you want these colors I can um, get them to you I think the the corally kind of color is coral. This color here, even though it looks kind of green, is actually the vintage blue um, tri-blend marker. And this is the light yellow. So again, I added a little bit of that. I added a little sparkly there. This does have black, so the black outline kind of matches. If I had black dots, I probably would have put some black dots in. So, as always, tell me which one's your favorite. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we will do seven and eight. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. And I will see you next Friday. Thanks ever so much, Nancy, for watching. Bye now.